Back in 1977, there were about 11,000 women in prison in the United States. Now there's been about 13,500 incarcerated women in just the state of Texas. Texas actually has the most um, incarcerated women in its state and federal prisons. To me, that's an astonishing number. <laughs> My name is Betty Bouchard. I'm the founder and executive director of Ray Solana. One of the first things that anyone who goes into one of our classes realizes, these women, they're our sisters, our mothers, our grandmothers, our aunts. I mean, they are more strongly the same. I don't even think of them as criminals. I think of them as women who have made some big mistakes, but as women who deserve a second chance. I feel that Ray Solana makes a difference primarily in giving hope to people who've made some bad decisions and gotten their lives pretty well messed up. We have at this point about 20 to 30 hours of class every week. We're hoping to grow into probably two or three times that amount of class time. Because we are a holistic program, we think that all of these work together and each piece of this is very important. The first area is the mental health area. That's something that's really problematic for all these women. They either have um, depression and they have addictions. Another area that we um, are really strong in is we have various kinds of life skills. And that can be anything from job readiness to self-work to healthy communications, healthy relationships, anger management. We have several different kinds of life skills that rotate in and out. We have what we call wellness classes and those range from HIV education to just getting exercise. Then the creativity piece brings together our women in community and builds the trust and builds this foundation that we can then use in some of our more serious and deep and hard working classes. <laughs> Society should be judged by how they treat their prisoners. And we don't do a very good job if that's what we're gonna be judged by. <laughs>